Question 17. The first term of an arithmetic progression AP is A and the common difference is D. The seventh, uh, the seventh term of the AP is 11th. The sum of the first 12 terms of the AP is 123. A part 1. Form two simplified equations involving A and D to represent the information. So the first term of an AP is A. The common difference is the seventh term is 11. So the first thing that you need to understand is how do we get the nth term of an AP? How do you get the nth term of an AP? It is given by A plus N minus 1 D. For instance, if you want to write the seventh term, the seventh term, N will be 7. You just need to substitute 7 in the place of N. So the seventh term should be A plus uh, N is 7 minus 1, that is N minus 1, then D. So the seventh term is A plus 6D. And you're given the seventh term is 11. So that gives the first equation. The second equation, we get it from here. The sum of the first 12 terms of the AP is 123. So again, how do you get the sum of n terms of an AP? It's given by n divided by 2. Then 2a plus n minus 1. D. Like that. Where n is the position of the term. Now here, we have the sum of the first 12 terms. So n will be 12. And then Sn is the sum of uh, the first 12 terms that will be given by 123. So let's just substitute these. So n over 2 will be 12 divided by 2. Then 2a plus n minus 1. n is 12, so it is 12 minus 1. Multiply by d should give 123. Simplify these, you get 6. This is a 2a plus 11d is equals to 123. So open the brackets, you get 12a plus 66d is equals to 123. You can simplify this one by dividing everything by 3. Divide everything by 3. Here you get 4a plus 22d is equals to 41. So here you have equation 2. Now you have two simplified equations in terms of A and B. The second one is here. And the first one is here. Those are the two. Part 2, find the values of A and D. You simply need to take the two equations that you formed in the first part and solve them simultaneously. So you have 11 is equals to A plus 6D. That is the first equation. And the second one, just organize it. You have 4a plus 22d is equals to 123. That is the second equation. So use the elimination method. I will eliminate a. So to make a uniform, I'll multiply the first one by 4 so that I get 4a. And I subtract the second one, 4a. Multiply the whole of equation 1 by 4. So you get 44 is equals to 4a plus 24. Then the second equation is just multiplying that one by 1. Get 123 is equals to, not 123, something wrong here. So this one we simplified, we got 41. So for that we got 41 for this. So we got 41, not 123. So we have uh, 41. The second equation is 41, it is here. Uh, so when you subtract these, this is uh, 4a plus uh, 22d. This was 24d, 22d. So the first equation, we've multiplied everything by 4. The second equation, multiply by 1. So you can see now you can eliminate a. We subtract the 2. 44 minus 41, you get 3 is equals to 24d minus 22d. You get 2d. So from here, you get d as 3 over 2 or 1.5.
that is the value of d now let's get the value of a to get the value of a we simply need to take one of the equation we'll take this uh 11 we'll take 11 is equals to a plus 6d i already have d d is 1.5 so just substitute 11 is equals to a plus 6 times d 1.5 so this will give 11 is equals to a plus 1.5 times 6 is 9 so a is equals to 2 so you have d and you have a Part B. the first the third and the eighth terms of the ap form the first three consecutive terms of a geometric progression calculate one the sixth term of the gp so you have the first the third so let us write uh, this one is for the ap so the first the third and the eighth we write this so the first term of an ap is a the third term remember how we gave the nth term just to remind you the nth term of an ap is given by a plus n minus 1 d so if you want to get for example the third term you just substitute n with 3 okay so the third term will be a plus will be a plus 2 d a plus 2 d the eighth term just take the formula of the nth term and if you're getting the eighth term just substitute n with eight so this will give a plus seven d so because you already have a and d we can just write this a we got a as um, a as two then we know a and d then d is 1.5 just substitute here so you have 2, like here a is 2 plus 2 times 1.5. So this one will give 5. Then the 8th, a is 2, then plus 7 times uh, 1.5. d is 1.5, you're just substituting. This will give 12.5. So now we have the first, the third, and the eighth terms. So the first, uh, the first is two, the third is that, that one. So these three form the first three consecutive terms of a GP. So now for the GP, we have two as the first term, five as the second term. That is what we mean by consecutive. And then eighth as 12.5, like that. So that is a GP, and you're getting this term from the AP. Now you're required to get the sixth term of the GP. So to do that, we need to know how do we get the nth term, the nth term of, how do you get the nth term, the nth term of any GP. It is given by A raised power, this is AR is power n minus 1. That is how we get the nth term of a GP. And now if you want to get uh, the sixth, the sixth term, the GP, n will be, n will be simply 6. You just substitute n here with 6. So you'll have A, R, then 6 minus 1. And this will give A, R, raised to power 5. That is how we get the 6th term. This is the 6th term of the GP. Now what we need to get is A, the first term of the GP, which is here, it is 2. Then we need R. R is the common ratio. How do we get the common ratio? We simply take the ratio of the two consecutive terms. For example, you can consider between 2 and 5. 2 and 5. So using these to get the ratio, you just take 5 divided by 2. So the common ratio is 2.5. So now we just need to substitute. So the sixth term is therefore A, which is 2 
multiply by r, r is 2.5, then raised power 5. As simple as that. And when you do that, uh, this one will give One hundred and ninety-five. One hundred and ninety-five point three one two five. So that is the sixth term of the GP. Let's go to part two. The sum of the first six terms of the GP. How do we get the sum of a number of terms of a GP? There are two formulas. And both formulas depend on the common ratio. For example, if the common ratio is greater, if the common ratio is greater than one, we use this formula. A, then R raised power n minus one, then R minus one. This is the formula that you're going to use when R is the common ratio is greater than one. What's the common ratio here? We got the common ratio as 2.5. That is greater than 1. Then we have A. We have A. And A is uh, 2. So we just need to substitute. So the sum. The sum of the 6 terms. So N. Because you're getting the sum of the 6 terms. N will be 6. So sum of the first 6 terms will be given by a which is 2 then common ratio which is 2.5 raised to power n n is 6 then minus 1 then 2.5 minus 1 that is r minus 1 so let us work out the numeric term 2 multiplied by 2.5 raised to power 6 minus 1 that will give 486 Point two eight one two five. That is the numerator. Then the denominator, 2.5 minus 1, is 1 1.5. And when you divide these, you will get 324.1875. So that is the sum of the first six terms of the GP.